Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Kia EV6, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by law. Let's break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna remove this tray here and we're also gonna remove any cargo covers underneath. All right, we've got two cargo clips, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. All right, now we're gonna remove the two covers on each side, and then this should just pull right off. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the threshold. We're gonna pull out just a little bit. All right, we've got four 10 millimeter bolts that we're gonna move from the panels on each side. One, two, three, and four. Behind the rear seat release lever, there is going to be a 10 millimeter bolt um, behind uh, both the driver and the passenger side lever. So um, you can pull this lever back and you'll see that bolt exposed. All right, we're gonna repeat this process on the passenger side. All right, so we're gonna start by removing the driver side trim panel. Um, there is a 12 volt cigarette uh, style socket here. We're gonna make sure that as we're pulling, we're careful not to pull the wires. So we've got two connectors in here that we're gonna to wanna to disconnect, one for the 12 volt socket, the other is for the light here. Uh, both have push clips, so be careful removing them. All right, so now we're ready to find our tail light connection. Uh, I've gone ahead and pulled it out. This one does have some red tape as indicated in the instructions. It does have a small push clip. We're gonna go ahead and push that in and it should just disconnect like that. All right, we're ready to make our connection to our tail light with the T-harness provided. So we're gonna use the one with the yellow wire, which is for the driver's side. We're gonna find our connector behind the tail light here, and we're gonna go ahead and match them right up. All right, go ahead and connect here. We'll connect the mating side to the other end going into the tail light. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat this process on the passenger side of the vehicle. Just go ahead and gently pull. Okay, now we've got our T connector for the passenger side with the green wire. We're gonna go ahead and connect that in behind the tail light as well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our power wire by adding a heat street bunk connector. Okay, then we're gonna use our butane torch to get our heat shrink buck connector. All right, so the manufacturer of this trailer wiring harness included a large roll of power wire that would typically be used to run all the way up to the front of the vehicle. Um, in this vehicle, they wanted us to run it all the way through the driver's side of the, the, the cab. Um, in this case, um, we did find a original equipment connector inside the driver's side panel. Uh, that connector has a 12 volt power source that we're gonna go ahead and tap into. Um, so we added our inline fuse to our converter box. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and use a scotch lock to tap into that 12 volt power source. So this is the connector that we found that was unused uh, behind the driver's side panel. Uh, we used our test light to identify that the red wire uh, was actually a 12 volt power source and that's what we're going to use to uh, tap into. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we've got our red wire in our scotch lock. We're gonna add our inline fuse, holding it in place. We'll come in with some pliers and crimp it down. And we'll go ahead and pinch this closed, just like that. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and connect our uh, eyelet from our ground. Uh, we're gonna find a suitable grounding point using the self-tapping screw provided and go ahead and make sure there's nothing behind it, but we can drill right in. Okay, now we're ready to add our 15 amp provided fuse. We're just gonna clean some of this up with some zip ties. Okay. All right, now that we've made all of our trailer wiring connections, we're ready to start reinstalling the trim panels on the inside of the vehicle. Don't forget about your 12 volt power source and your light here on this driver's side panel. On this vehicle, we've decided to stow the four flat cable inside the cargo area. Uh, when I do that, I just like to use a rubber band and tuck it away somewhere nicely. So that way it's out of the way and we have easy access when we need it. All right, very last, we're gonna replace our cargo area cover. All right, so that concludes our install. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.